Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make part 4 of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the Scheepjes Crochet Along 2018 that's been designed by Deidre Eyes from Look at What I Made. In part 4 of Ubuntu we'll be making this triangle, it's half a diamond. And I'll take you through the rounds that make up this, this part, these 8 rounds. I have the large kit that I'm using, so I'm using Scheepjes Stone Washed XL and River Washed XL yarn to make my blanket. If you have one of the other kits you'll of course have different yarn. I'm using the XL yarn together with a 5mm hook. If you have a different yarn you'll need a different hook. In essence you need the same hook size as you used last week. I'll take you through the 8 rounds that make up this diamond. I'll show you how to make one, or actually diamond, half a diamond, how to make one. But you need to make six of these so identical triangles that you need to make. I'll make one with you and then you can make five more. I hope it's a useful video for you and thank you for watching. Round one. With the main color I'm going to make a magic loop. So I'm going to yeah, cross them underneath and over. And there we go. Start with a chain five. This counts as a triple treble. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a this chain five is a triple treble. Then a double treble. That's twice over. Everything is in the ring. Double treble and then two trebles also in the ring. And two. Chain one. This chain one is your corner or the point of the triangle. Then two trebles. So now we're going to do the same in reverse order. That's two trebles, a double treble, and a triple treble. The triple treble is three times yarn over, and then taking off two loops four times. And there we go. I can tighten the loop, so I'm just going to grab my yarn tail and just close that loop. There we go. And I can see if I just turn it right way right around. And that's the point of the triangle. You can see the small triangle that you've now made. The pattern now says to make a slip stitch in between the last two stitches that we worked. So that's in there, in that gap. And then turn. But it's, however, it's easier if we first turn and then do that slip stitch. So I'm just going to turn my work, so now I have the back facing, and then in between these two stitches, in there, just grab your yarn and work a slip stitch. There you go, so I have the back facing, you've turned, and now we're ready for round two. Round two. Now have the wrong side facing, you're looking to the back of your work. I'm going to start with the chain 5 where we are still in that slip stitch with the, uh, between the stitches and also with our first few stitches we're going to also be making in this gap. Chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. This chain 5 counts as a triple treble. In this gap, so between the stitches, going to make a double treble and two trebles. Twice over. And that's a double treble and then work two more trebles also in that gap. So this is really between the stitches. Going to skip the next stitch. Now keep in mind that we've just turned our work. Now I'd just like to take a moment to just show you which stitches are which. If you look at the front of your work and how stitches are made up, my camera just focuses again. There we go. 
this is a stitch and then it has its its top, its hat. And you first have the uh, the hat and then you have the post of the stitch. That's how the stitch is made up. If you, if you look at this one here in the middle, that is the post of the stitch and then that there, that's the stitch itself, that's the hat. But if you turn your work the way we've done now, it's exactly the other way around. See, here's the pose of the stitch, but now the hat is, be is before it's there. Whereas if it was the other way around, it was to the back. You see first the hat and then the post. And if you look at this direction, it's first the post and then the hat. And that's something to keep in mind if you're talking about which stitches to skip. You see, okay, that's, that stitch there, and that one, belongs to the first stitch and does not belong to the second stitch here. The way it does when you have your work the other way around. So that's a very important thing to realize when you're constantly turning your work. Which, just which, which stitch is, is which? That's the question. But this first there, that first stitch we're now going to skip and we're going to work in the second stitch and that's that one there. We're going to make a treble chain one and a treble in there. So skipping this first stitch and that one, skipping that. It's also kind of being covered here by all these stitches you've made so it's quite easy to skip that stitch. And then go to the second and there we're going to work a treble, chain one, and a treble. You have one stitch left, that's that one there. You see that's one stitch there. Before we get to the chain one space. Now we're going to skip that last stitch in the chain one space work a new corner. That's going to be a treble, chain one, and a treble in the same space. Now this chain one is on your corner and I'm just going to hook a stitch marker up in there just to remind me that it's my corner. Now you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just going to do this for my, uh, for my own reference. So that there is my chain one space for the corner that I can't accidentally mistake for example that space or that space for my corner. I'm going to continue on the right on the next edge we're going to do the same here as we've done there. We're going to skip the first stitch. So that's going to be, if you look here, that is your first stitch. I'm going to skip that okay, and then go to the second stitch. See where it's at? Work a treble, chain one and a treble in the same space. And then those, these chain ones either side, we're going to work a popcorn in the next round. Two stitches left, you've got there, that's the proper stitch, you've got that one left, and we've got this chain five here from the beginning. Between these two stitches, we're now going to work our next stitches. So it's the same as we've done on that side, we're going to do here now also. So that means this stitch, but then go to this space here between there and work two trebles. One, two trebles, followed by a double treble and then of course a triple treble. So that's three times yarn over and one, two, three, I just need more yarn, four times take off, oh dear, take off two loops, do that one again, four times take off two loops. Now again we need to work that slip stitch between the last two stitches worked, so I've got my finger in here in that space. It's easier if we first turn our work and then grab that yarn and work a slip stitch. Then in round three, which we're going to work now, we're going to be working with two colours and we'll be making popcorns. Round three, we're going to start in the same way. Chain five, three, four, five, which counts as a triple treble. 
in this space again. We're going to work a double treble, that's twice over, and two trebles. And two. Now on the first four stitches going to work a pop a um a treble and then we're going to work a popcorn. So you see those one, two, three, four stitches there. And especially this first one, you'll notice that this these last two stitches you made they kind of tend to fall over it. So be sure that you really get that first stitch. So that's one. Two, three, and now stitch number four. We're going to change colors. You're going to need contrast color one. So just check your kits with exactly what is contrast color one. For me, it's this orange color. If you have one of the other two kits, it'll be a different color. So just check the pattern. What is your contrast one? We're going to work the treble and then finish the treble with orange so that we have a orange work in yarn and make the popcorn with the orange color. Now the last stitch, that's the stitch here before the chain space. In there, you're going to start with the treble. So we're going to work the treble as normal until now. You've now got the last two loops on your hook. The yarn over you're going to do with the orange yarn. So leave a bit of a um, thread that you can work in, then yarn over with that orange and pull through. Now you have orange yarn on your hook and we're going to make the popcorn with that. If you want you can just pull that yarn tail a bit and also pull this one here to just get that stitch into shape there. In the chain one space we're going to work a popcorn. So it's five trebles using the orange yarn. And I'm going to work over my main color. So I'm going to keep this yarn below here and work over it. Yarn over for the first treble. So I'm working in that chain one space and I'm covering my main color. And then that is the first treble. And we're going to work five, of course. So this is two, three. Still working over my main color. Four, and here is five. Now to finish five, we're going to go back to our main color. Which is going to Pop that stitch mark forward. Come back to your main color. And do the yarn over with that. Now you have your main color back on your hook. Open up. Come back to the first stitch. Now that's easy to see exactly which stitch that is. And pull through. That completes the popcorn. At this point you can cut your yarn, you can cut or the orange yarn, you can cut the contrast color one. So I'm just going to cut that yarn. And what you can do, what I actually do a lot in these situations, just um if you pull these two orange yarns, you'll see that your uh, your popcorn that helps to put your popcorn just a bit into shape as well. And I'm going to just put a knot in these two threads. Not sure if that's very professional, but it is very practical. And then nothing is going to happen to these two threads. I do actually work them in just one, one forward and one back, just to, uh, and and then I cut my yarn because this this knot really helps to prevent things from coming undone there. To continue, chain two, one, two. We're going to skip these two stitches. You have two stitches left and then you're here at the chain one corner space. Skip those two stitches and in the corner space work a new corner. It's going to be a treble, chain one and another treble. 
going to move my stitch marker to the new position, to the new corner. There you go. If you have not put a stitch marker in, at, I would encourage you to do so now because you're going to um, leave this stitch marker here until we need it in round six. We're going to come back to this stitch in round six and then work in there. And then it's easier if you have a stitch marker in there so you can find this stitch. So um, put a marker in that you can find it easier in round six. On this side, we're now going to do the same as we've done on that side. So chain two. And on that second chain, we're again going to change the orange yarn that we can make another orange popcorn. So that's chain one. And now comes the second chain. Let me just find my yarn. Here it is. And on that second chain, we're going to change the orange yarn. Now, this time we're going to do just a little different. We're not going to work over our main color, so I'm going to keep that to the top, that I don't accidentally work over it. And now, in the chain space, oh, there it is, and there, in that chain space, work a popcorn. So we're going to skip those first two stitches, and in that chain one space, work a popcorn with the orange yarn, and do not work over your main color. So that there is one can work five trebles, two, three, four, and now in number five we're going to change back again. So this is the first part of treble five, and now I'm going to grab my main color that's here to the top, so I'm just going to grab that there, and then yarn over and pull through. Open up this loop and then come back to that first stitch. Now because it, you've had chain stitches before the popcorn, they kind of two tend to fall into one another. But you see here, that's the first stitch. Go back into that first stitch, pick up the loop and pull through. Again, you can cut your contrast color. So I'm just going to cut that yarn again. And me being just a little bit lazy and practical, I'm going to put a knot in here as well. And two. And there we go. That completes your second popcorn. On these next four stitches, I'm going to work a treble. And that first one is that one there. So one, two, three, and there's four. Four is just before the big gap again. And in that gap, so between these last two stitches where my finger is in, work two trebles, one and two, a double treble and a triple treble. Oh dear, I'm going to do that again. yarn over. Turn your work and work the slip stitch between these last two stitches that you've worked. Now we're ready for round five, no, four, four. I'm just going to work away these yarn tails, just work them in a little bit because that'll just make things a bit easier and then we're ready for round four. Row four going to start with a chain five. This is again a triple treble. Twice over for a double treble in the same space and two trebles. And two. Going to work seven trebles. 
that will bring us here to the popcorn. Now that first stitch, that there's the first stitch. Again, be sure to get into that stitch properly. It's the first of seven. That's one. And this is two. Three. Going on six, and the last one is seven. Seven trebles. Now I'm going to work a back post treble around the popcorn. And if you look at the popcorn, you're going to come from this side to next to the popcorn there, that gap. And then out the other side, like so. So we're going to work a treble like this. That will be a back post treble relative to around the popcorn. That way we're going to pinch the popcorn even more. Yarn over, so around the one side, come out the other. Look at it from the top. Grab the treble, your yarn to complete the treble. So you've got an, you're framing that popcorn. Continue with a chain eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Chain eight. I'm going to skip everything here in the middle and go immediately to the next popcorn where we're going to work another back post treble. So it's yarn over. Well, let me just show you where it is first. So around this side of the popcorn and then the other side, so it's between the stitch and the popcorn in there. That's where you want to make the back post treble. And then first yarn over. In between in the chain two gap, that's easy, and then here between the stitch and, and the popcorn, come out the other side, grab your yarn, bring everything to where you are, and then complete the treble. That was a back post treble around the popcorn. Your next seven stitches going to work a treble. So that there's the next one there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then number seven is the stitch here just before that chain space that there's number seven. If you've only got six here, you most likely missed that first stitch there. So be sure to get into that first stitch. In the chain space here, two trebles, a double treble, followed by a triple treble. There we go. We're again going to turn our work and make a slip stitch in the space here between these last two stitches in that space there. But with that slip stitch we're going to change to contrast color 3. So check what contrast color 3 is in your kit. For me it's this green color. So just check the written pattern what exactly your color is. If you have a different kit to me. And then with the slip stitch change to color 3. Your main color, you can cut your yarn now. We'll come back to the main color later on. And then round 5 we're going to work with the green yarn. 
about five. So we're going to work with the green yarn here. Could start with the chain four. This is slightly different, so take note, chain four. Very four. This chain four counts as a double treble. In this space, work a treble. And two half trebles. And two. Just take my yarn tails out of the way here. We'll work them in um, at the end. We'll work all these yarn tails in neatly. You have the right side of your of your work facing. Just to double check that we're on the same side. In the first stitch, work a half treble. See there, that's the first stitch. Work a half treble, and that's going to be the first of ten. And that will bring you here to the stitch before the front post. So these stitches we're going to work, that will give you ten half trebles. So two, three, four, and ten. There you go. 10 half trebles. What we're going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch. That's this front post stitch. We're going to skip that stitch. And then here in the chain 2 space, next to the popcorn, we're going to work a triple treble bobble. I'm just going to move this marker forward. We're going to leave the chain 8 space here. We're going to leave that to the back and work in this space. Now, a triple treble bobble. That means a three times yarn over. Hold on to everything. Then go into that space. Be sure that you have the chain eight here to the back. We'll, we'll work in this later. And then one, two, three times. Take off two loops. Stop. Got two loops on your hook. Then again, one, two, a three times yarn over. In that same space, grab a loop, and then one, two, three times, take off two loops. Again, a three times yarn over. In that same space, grab a loop, and then one, two, three times yarn over. Or well, taking off two loops, I should say. You've now got four loops on your hook. Take them all off. In one go. That is your triple treble bobble. If you look to the back, you see you've got this chain 8 space unworked. I'm going to do a chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Skip everything. So I've got the, the um, corner space here and we're going to go to this chain 2 space that's before the bobble, or, or the popcorn I should say. And we're going to work another triple treble bobble in here, the same as on that side. And still leave our chain 8 space unworked. So we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three times yarn over. Then come to this chain 2 space, skipping the corner there. And then work. Take off two loops, take off two, take off two, and stop. Three times yarn over. And one, two, three. And again, three times yarn over. You see, I'm folding my work to the back that I'm really making sure to miss that chain eight there. One, two, three. You've got four loops on your hook. Take them all off. We're going to come here on this straight edge. We're going to skip the first stitch. That's the treble here, the, um, the front post treble. We're going to skip that and then go to the second stitch. There's that one there. Work a half treble. See how we're skipping that first stitch there? And then work in the second with a half treble. This is again the first of ten. So that's one, two, Three, ten. 
10 half trebles. In the chain space here, we're going to do the same as on the other side, or actually between the stitch and the last stitch, so between these last two stitches. So half treble, I'm going to work two half trebles actually. A treble and a double treble. There you go. Again, turn your work, and we're going to work a slip stitch again between the last two stitches worked but going to change to contrast color 2 as we do so so just check in your kit what exactly is contrast color 2 and use this slip stitch to change color there you go. Got the green yarn that we've been using up to now for this round you can cut that and then the next round will continue with this, for me it's a bit of an orange pinky color. Round six. You have the wrong side of your work facing. You can start with a chain four. Four. This counts as a double treble. Then in that same space between those last two stitches work a treble followed by two half trebles and two half trebles now on the next 13 stitches it's actually going to bring you here going to work a front post treble so and that means around stitches like this going to work a front post treble on each of those Yarn over, grab your yarn, and then complete the treble as normal. It's one, two. What you're doing is on the other side, is you're going to make a nice edge with these stitches that are being rolled forward. This is four. If you now look. I look from the other side you see here how your stitches are rolling forward and that gives a really nice edge uh, this was four yes so five I'm going to work until we have 13 and this is number 13 there you go so you've got 13 front post trebles on the other side you've got you just flop your work you see you've got that nice edge going there Continue with a chain two. One, two. And your next stitch here is the um, bobble we made. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to work in the chain four space. Or no, actually, this was chain eight. I'm going to work in this chain eight space, but I'm going to pull it forward. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that through my chain. 10 space. I've got this chain 10 space to the front and then I've got this loop here to the back and now work a double crochet in that chain 8. I've got the chain 10 here to the front. Move your double crochet right to the start of that chain 8. What we're now going to do is we're going to work, if I just turn my work forward, going to work in this space that we marked in there going to work a series of double trebles with chain ones in between and whilst we do that these two loops these chain this chain 8 and chain 10 we want those to be um, in front of our world well, if you look from this side to be in front but you're going to work in there but leave these unworked that's what we're going to be doing so in that marked stitch there so eight double treble it is so that means twice over and then into that stitch that marked stitch and you see I've got these loops here to the back or to the front just depends on how you look at it and leave them unworked chain one You're going to do um, we want five of these double trebles with a chain one in between 
I'm just going to remove the stitch marker because I don't need it anymore because I now know exactly where that stitch is. So I've got already got one in there. I'm going to make a few more. So twice over. Then that is two and three and this is four. Yes, yeah, so we've got chain one, and then the last one is five. So I've got five trebles, double trebles, yes, double trebles with a chain one in between. So four chain ones and five double trebles. Now you need to come back to the chain eight, that's the one that's in your main color. Pull this one up, so make sure that chain 10 here is um, to the back and this chain 8 is to the front and then work a double crochet in there again. And now pull this chain, um, this chain through the stitch so that the double crochet really moves to the edge. So you've got these two double crochets now on either side. If you look from the front you can see you've made this this scallop here you've got a double crochet on either side and they're in your chain eight so that's the main color chain and your chain 10 here this is completely unworked you haven't done anything in there so that's what your work looks like right now from the back we're going to do a chain two and then we're going to skip the um, double treble I believe the, well this group, we're going to skip that and then go to the next stitch and that's this stitch here and that's actually the first half treble that you worked here we're going to work a front post treble around that so yarn over and then work a front post treble so 13 and that will bring you um, to the edge where we're going to work um, the the corner the corner edge again, those corner stitches. Three, and this is four, and this is thirteen. So I've got thirteen front post trebles. Again, giving a nice edge on the other side. In this space here, the gap you've got between those last two stitches. Work two trebles, actually two half trebles, I should say, two half trebles, then work a treble, and then work a double treble. There you go. I'm going to turn my work, so now I've got the front facing, and then work a slip stitch again, and we're going to change colors in the slip stitch to the main color. So get your main color. And then with a slip stitch change to your main color, which we're going to use in the next round. The contrast color that you used in this round, you can cut that. And then we continue with the gray in my case. Round seven, I have the right side of my work facing. And we're going to chain four, three, four. This counts as a double treble. In that space between the last two stitches, work a treble and two half trebles. And two. Now on the next 16 stitches, now that's all those stitches will bring you right up to here, up to the chain space. Going to work a half treble. So there's the first one. It's one, two, three, continue until you have sixteen, four, and sixteen is on that last stitch. There we go. 16 half trebles. Going to work a front post treble around this 
um, bobble stitch we made so that that flower leaf there around that stitch around the top we're going to make a front post treble so I'm going to yarn over and I can just kind of scoop this stitch and then pinch it together there you go chain three and now we're going to work to the back so you've got here this 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 shell going to work to the back of that you've got both your chain 8 and chain 10 loops we're going to pinch both of them together we're going to work over both of them with a double treble so twice over and in that over both of those work a double treble chain 3 and work another double treble over both of these One, two, three. if you now look at your work you can see how it's nicely to the back there chain three, one more chain three and now we're going to come to the other side and work a front post treble around this um, this treble bobble here the same as we did over that side, or this was a double treble bobble, I don't know, I forgot yarn over and work a front post treble around that pinching it together there we go. going to come back up and on these stitches here work a half treble on each I'm going to start with the first one so that's uh, that stitch there this is the first one so you're going to skip the chain 2 space here and work that half treble this one and then this is 2 and continue until you have 16 that will bring you to the edge of the square again or the, tr the square, it's a triangle so I'll bring it to the point of the triangle 15 and the last one here 16. In the space between the last two stitches, I'm going to work two half trebles followed by a treble and a double treble. There we go. We rotate our work. I'm going to work a slip stitch between those last two stitches and change to contrast color 4 so I'm going to use this color with this slip stitch to change to it's a lovely purple pink color and you, anyway in my kit, in your kit you may have a different color I'm going to cut my main color we'll use it again later on and then I'll do row 8 the last row of this part in the purple round eight is the last round of part one we have the wrong side of our work facing we're going to start with a chain four this is of course a double treble now we work a treble in the space between those two stitches there you go now stop because you do not need to work anything else in that space on the next 19 stitches going to work a half treble that there's of course the first stitch it's the first of 19 which will bring you to the top side the top point of the triangle this is three four eighteen and the last one here is number nineteen and that's on that last half treble there, 19. The, the next stitch here is the front post treble, and that front post stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch to make a chain one. And what we're now going to do is, if you just look at your work, fold this um, this framework here just forward. To the back here, you'll see the shell, and we're going to be working in that shell in the chain one spaces. 
that are between the double trebles. So in that first chain one space we're going to make a double um, actually a triple treble bobble. It's going to be three times yarn over and then folding um, your frame here forward, that corner, work in the chain one space there, going to work a triple treble bobble. Again three times yarn over in that space, take off three loops. Two, three loops on your hook, one more, one, two, three, four loops on your hook, take them all off. Chain four, and now we're going to do the same, we're going to work another set of triple treble bobbles in there, but what we're going to do is we're going to work, yes, in these in that chain one space and in that chain one space we're going to work a triple treble bobble on both of those but we're also going to work through this chain space here so we're going to connect these two together so through this space and that space we're going to work the triple treble bobble and I just happen to see a knot coming up in my yarn so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to tidy up this knot so just a moment and then I can continue. It's going to three times yarn over, then insert through this um, center chain three, and the next chain one. Grab both of them together, and one, two, three. Another time, three times yarn over, one, two, three, and three times yarn over. And one, you see that knot there, I just take with me and make sure it's here. Now it's, that's to the front of my work, so from the other side, which is the front, you won't see it. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and take them off. Chain four. And I'm just going to move this chain three a little bit to the side, that I can just see it better because now we're going to work another triple treble bobble through the chain three here and that next chain one space there. So it's three times yarn over and through the chain three and the chain one. It's one and two and four loops on your hook and take them all off. Chain four, two, three, four and now we're going to work another triple treble bobble through the last chain one space there of the shell, that last one there and this time we're going to leave the chain three here to the back again so only through that space there. Three times yarn over, only through the chain one to so make sure your chain three here is folded away. It's one, this is two, and the last leg here is three. Four loops on your hook, take them all off chain one. This is what your work looks like at the moment. There you go. You can see you've got these two on either side, you've got them left open and the center one here you've caught that with those two petals. I'm going to skip the next front post treble here, that's this one. And skip that stitch and then go to the next with a half treble. Skipping that stitch go to the first stitch and this is the one that you've actually worked in there, that first stitch. This is the first of 19. It's two, this is three, eighteen and nineteen. There we go. Nineteen half trebles. 
you're now at the space between the last two stitches again this is where you're at at the moment in that space work a treble and a double treble now you can cut this yarn and open up work away this yarn tail, work away this yarn tail but before you do so just take a moment to mark the space between your last two stitches so between that um, double treble and the treble just put a stitch marker in there because we're going to use that space later on I'll tell you when you can take this marker out this is what your work looks like at the moment. You've got quite a few yarn tails here. I do suggest that you work away these yarn tails now so that you can just continue next week. You don't have to, but uh, I do so. I, I do advise you to. You've made one of these triangles. You need to make five more. You're going to have six of them in total. So I've got a whole series of them here. I've got a few more. So you need to make um, six of them, six identical ones. Oh, that's from the back. So six identical triangles with the color placement as given in the pattern. So you need to make six of those. And when you've worked away your yarn tails, this is what your triangle looks like. You'll notice that your that the edge here is a little wavy. Um, don't worry about this. When it's in the blanket you won't even notice that uh, that this edge is, is, is just a little wavy. So no, don't worry about that. Remember to mark that one stitch. We'll get back to that stitch later on. So you've done one of them with you. Go and do five more. Work away your yarn tails and then you're ready for round five next time.